Hello, everyone. In this lecture, we will be learning the third string method called F-string method. This method is a new method only up to Python uh, version 3.6. If you use uh, a version uh, older than 3.6, uh, this method uh, doesn't work. Okay. Uh, F prefix at the beginning of the string tells Python to insert any currently varied variables into the string. This method is the most pra practical convenience uh, one of uh, these three methods. Okay, let's see some examples. Uh, we still use the method uh, we I mean we use the second uh, files we created we just open open this the second method files we call it curly formatting we change the name save as we call this f formatting okay f string formatting i think f formatting is clear save no let's see the same examples for y variables we still use name to print this time we just use the curry bracket we put the name inside we delete all these things so you can see this method is very convenient it's very shorter but we put a f at the beginning uh, f uh, prefix okay this is the meaning for more than one variables we have here we just write a name age years old we need these parts we remove we put f okay for a list, it's the same. We just write the name, the variable, the list, but we have to put the F at the beginning. For this, it's the same. For example, here we write X, Y, uh is here's z we write x y and d how about uh, uh this uh, decimal for example we keep one decimal we just write z one dot one f z dot three f this is x is y we remove all these things but don't forget it's a, a prefix uh, this is why it's called f string method okay now let's run let's see the results there is an error oh here's this uh, quotation
You see, it works very well. For here, another thing I think you should be attention to. Hello. F. Yeah, you, sometimes if there's a, I mean, the quotation mark, you can use a double or single quotes. Here, I use single quotes. But sometimes if there's, a, for example, there's a, a, another single quote, maybe here, for example, the results, let's see. Uh, something maybe like this we use then we use double uh, quotation or oh, there will be uh, error okay and uh, this is the only part of the f string um, in fact for this string there's a, a more convenient and a more uh, Things uh, that I can use to do, but for this lecture, we only talking about those things. Uh, we still use another lecture for more um, functions of the F string. For example, dictionaries and call functions. Yeah. Let's see uh, in the next uh, lecture for more about F string. See you then.